I was at the party last night and this guy tells me Alex Baker posted a new video. I bought the coin right away because he did a lot of good calls on the previous bull market. And I was like, here we go again. So yes, you can follow influencers on YouTube and stuff like that. But why waiting that they post a video on YouTube where you could find their Ethereum address and know exactly when they place the orders before they even publish it on Twitter and things like that? Because there's two ways. You could see what people tell you that they did or what they actually do. So I dived in and I searched everyone on the blockchain to find the portfolio of four crypto influencers and see if it's interesting. We're going to see Alex Baker, Gary V, Mr. Beast, and Crypt God John. And I'm telling you, you're going to be surprised by each of them as much as I did. Good old Alex Baker have today a portfolio of $32,000. That's fairly decent, but that's not as big as we think it is. Because he said that he moved recently millions on his wallet. And that's not what I saw. Actually, when I checked his previous transactions from before, it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. The man, how much he put? BlockFi, here, 500k. BlockFi, 500k. Do we have another BlockFi? We have FTX, 260K, Block 5, 230K. And we know what happened to BlockFi. Bankrupt. Bankrupt. Now, I don't know if he managed to withdraw them, but what I see is probably that he didn't withdraw them or he withdrew them to another wallet. And that's just a little warning message on this video is we have an idea of what they invested in. We can't be sure if everything is true. And some people could use their wallet, if they know some people from that wallet, as a decoy, so as a trap. However, here for Alex Baker, I'm pretty sure we're not far from it because all the transactions that he talk about, we can see it on his wallet. For example, here I can see one of his wallet and that exactly the coin that we talked about, exit me for 10 per transaction on November 10. And we see what happened here. It's a clear pump and dump. There's, there's just no other words to describe this. And you have to know that the liquidity on this is super low. So the spread will be crazy. Like you see, you will move the price of 2% just by selling more than $2,000 of it. That's like, that's top of shit coins. So you can't go big on it. You can't invest a big amount of money. Now I can see that he allowed network. So he's probably going to sell that quickly. We can see all his trade. And then he sold a lot of the things that he talked about. There we go. So he went pretty hard on this XZ. Like he bought here, then here, then here and there, and then dump it. So on 9 November, he buy it, and then he dump it on the 10th of November. He hoarded it for 24 hours. I made a bit of money with it, but nothing crazy, honestly, nothing life-changing. Today, if I look at his token and stuff like that, it's not that crazy interesting. But yeah, that's a bit different from his portfolio at the end of 2021, where it was almost $2 million. And today it's like 30K. Maybe it changed to another address. Again, I say I'm not so sure about that because we can see the trades and he placed the trades. Now let's, now let's dive in in our second influencers and we will see, of course, what kind of learnings we can have from this. We have our good old Gary V. And I can understand why he's making this space. Uh, by the way, Gary V, thanks for your video. Helped me when I was younger. Uh, good motivation if you ever watch this video. His portfolio at the beginning of 2022 was $2 million. Today's 151K. That's a lot of difference. So we can see though that he probably sold a lot of his crypto. So let's check actually right in. I want to check his biggest transactions. Uh, v friends, of course. We could expect that. He interacts mostly with VFriend. And yet, what he loves to hold is a coin. We will check his full portfolio after that. You see that guy? We saw Mr. Beast here. I'm going to dive in his portfolio as well. Gary V is true to himself because it's mostly trades on NFTs. And honestly, I, I, I fairly don't understand why. Like, he's probably, he knows something that I don't, but what he's buying? I'm like, is, is, is this even beautiful now? What are we talking about here? What is this? It's a V friend. So he's buying his own stuff. That's it. 
Now an interesting one would be Mr. Beast. And I will keep, of course, one for the end that makes massive gains recently. And I may copy his trade. Mr. Beast, I have a good size portfolio, like 300k, 320 if you count the NFTs. And it's growing up. So it went up to actually it had 8 million when Dan went back up. That's quite interesting. I can see what he's holding. So he have some Eternity Chain, Earn Token, Capsule Coin, here RV, uh, maybe some people send him crypto as well because you can find his address. And then that would be, hey, if Mr. Beast have it, then we should have like that. We're just going to send him, same as they sent to Vitaly. Now let's check his last trades. We have, what do we have, Mr. Beast? Good job. That means he's fully on the decentralized finance. He's on Web3. If you're not, like, you get, you got to go on it. You see, he received some TRV or some travel. I don't know if it's his address. So I could check, like, um, I could try to visualize with all the addresses that in interact with if we can find other portfolio. He likes some links. He's been active in October a little bit, but not that crazy. Actually, what happened is his name on OpenSea is Wu-Tang Clan. Mr. Beast always, when he joined a platform, when he joined something else, he always changed his name. A few different ones. That's the second one I see. I saw another one before. So that's pretty interesting. We tank clan. And what do we have? Like, what is the biggest transaction he did? 3 million. 3.6 million he deposited on Binance. Super. He put, what? 3 million as well? What is super? That's two years ago. Superverse. What the F is the verse? Is it this one? That one? Let's check the price of it. Oh, wow. It went up. Oh, minus 97%. That's mental. I don't know the story behind it. Maybe some of you know. You can post it in the comments. Last but not least, let's check Crypto John because he did an amazing performance recently. So we have a portfolio of almost $2 million. Um, pretty active as well. We get tons of transactions happening. But let's dive in and check what he have in his portfolio. There we go. By platform, what do we have? We have some... AI Smart Contract Auditor, Actis Token, Optimus, PAL AI. I can't understand what is that. The Blocks Project. All right. Some stuff on Uniswap, PancakeSwap. Okay. Let's check the transactions. We recently sold some assets for some Ethereum. So we got some Link. Let's check the price of Link. What's popping here? Link with a Q. That's interesting. All right, that went pretty well down. I don't know if he managed to get like a pump. Okay, there was a pump here. And it probably went down after that. He bought some my MAA, MAI, sorry. Sold them here. So he bought 4,000 my for 23K and sold them here. That's, that's not the best. That's... However, when we check his performance, we still have like almost 1 million in profit in just a few months. That's crazy. And his portfolio, if we're going to check, for example, the beginning or the end of 2021 versus now, what do we get? Okay, he was not investing. Maybe at the end of 2022, nothing. Nothing. All right, that's a fairly recent portfolio, I guess. And these biggest holdings in this 0x0 Actis. Now you understand you have a lot of 0x0. And if we check, nine months ago, it was rock bottom and it reached the top 11 days ago. You see this information right here. So probably it was an early investor or right away. I don't know this project, to be honest. So I will have to dive in. But the point here of this video is that influencers, no matter how many followers they have, how many subscribers they have, it doesn't mean that they are better than someone. The best way, I think, is to cross data points so we can see what they did on YouTube. We can track when they talked about and then see the price difference. And most of us will be lazy. I am the first one. I'm French. Plus, I'm a comedian, so I'm double lazy. So, of course, what I prefer is to check what's happening on chain to see the real data to see who made a profit, who made a loss. And I'm not here to throw eggs to any of those influencers because 
whatever they do, I think they bring a lot to the ecosystem, even if that's the cost sometimes of some people. But who can we blame? If you decide to follow blindly someone, it's just your own fault. You have to understand the process. And it's not because there is a good intro that says, if you don't do this, you're going to die poor. You need to do this for your family and stuff like that. No, you need to understand why you invest in something. And of course, track what they did. That's the most important thing. I will send you actually, if you want the address of those people, you can just say in the comments. And if there is enough interest, I will send it in my next newsletter that you can uh, check uh, just below. And of course, uh, now you can uh, check uh, this uh, video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next one for some more spying on the blockchain.